Avi Meyer's Sunny Hirsch election special, a presentation of Sunny Hirsch. And uh, we want to welcome you. We didn't have room for everybody on the regular election show. We want to make sure we bring you as many people as we possibly can. Um, check our website out at ntnm.org. To find out when all these different shows are going to be on, go to the Sunny Hirsch's YouTube website, uh, Sunny H TV. Uh, it is a pleasure to introduce you to a um, highly qualified judge, at least that's what the bar associations have to say, um, who's running citywide for the Palmer vacancy, and that's Pat Hennigan. How are you? Good to see you, Avi. It's my pleasure to be here. First of all, my pleasure, and thank you for coming. And, um, you know, just so everybody knows, a judge is not allowed to campaign like other offices campaign. So why don't you first let us know about your background? Sure. Well, I am a candidate for judge, the Stu Palmer vacancy, which is countywide throughout all of Cook County. I'm not a sitting judge right now. I'm a practicing lawyer. And I practice law here in Chicago for over 30 years. Uh, my practice is generally commercial litigation. So I handle a wide range of uh, complicated matters on behalf of plaintiffs and defendants. And the plaintiffs can rate, those parties can be individuals, small companies, or large corporations. And the subject areas in which I've been involved over the years, uh, it's a wide range of activities that, that companies find themselves in, but they include antitrust, um, insurance coverage, work on behalf of policyholders, uh, complicated um, fraud cases, uh, RICO cases. I do some defense uh, of lawyers. Um, I do litigation in bankruptcy courts, uh, that sort of thing. Oh, very good. Uh, what, what about your educational background? So I uh, graduated law school in 1983 from Catholic University uh, of America in Washington, D.C. Um, oh, you're I, the second person I know who did that, and the first one was Jewish. Is that right? Yeah. How about that? <laughs> uh, my undergraduate degree is from Southern Illinois University, and uh, it's in environmental sciences, forestry in cool. particular. And uh, I chose Catholic University um, back in the early 80s because I, uh, at least initially, thought that I would pursue a career in environmental law. You may recall that a number of the environmental laws nationally and uh, state and locally were passed in the 1970s. And so we studied that as part of our curriculum in undergraduate school. And that was really the inspiration for me to pursue law as a uh, It's almost career. scary to think that Nixon had a lot to do with it. He did. He yes, did. he did. <laughs> right. And then Ford behind him. Yeah. Well, Ford didn't scare me as much as Nixon. <laughs> All right. So after law school, I had the great opportunity and honor to work for a couple of federal judges. Uh, the first judge was uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, a federal district court judge. And I clerked with him for a year. His name is Robert Vining. And after that, um, I clerked for a, a court of appeals judge, a federal court of appeals judge in Austin, Texas. So he sat on the Fifth Circuit. Now, I'm a native Chicagoan, um, grew up on the South Side, attended and graduated from Hubbard High School. Uh, so Chicago drew me back, and um, I've been here for the last 31 years, and I currently live up on the north side in, in the suburb of Glenview with my wife and our last child, who's still at home, an 18-year-old who soon will be going to college, God willing, yeah. um, and our other two are out of the house. Uh, they're 26 and 22, so wow. I've lived a charmed life, that's for sure. I've had great opportunities and really appreciate um, where I've been and what I've done. Now, you've got a lot of support this time around. I do. I'm slated by the Democratic Party, uh, endorsed by the Chicago Federation of Labor, and about two dozen uh, labor unions and over 80 um, state, uh, federal, and local elected officials. So I'm very proud to have earned those endorsements, and that will be very helpful to uh, spread the word about my candidacy and hopefully uh, encourage people to vote for me on March 15th. No, extremely. I mean, this means you'll, you, there'll be mail out with your name on it from all across the county and uh, all kinds of good stuff. That's right. That's right. It is a very, very solid slate of candidates that the party has endorsed for the judiciary. And it, it, uh, there are 11 of us th that the party endorsed. Eight of us, uh, myself included, are in contested races. So we have one or more opponents. And so we're, we're traveling throughout the county to spread our message and um, talk to people in, in really just any type of setting uh, that exists. So, it, you know, those are, those are candidate forums, there are political events, there are fundraisers, uh, there are events at churches um, and synagogues throughout the county. And it really is, it's a, a tremendous way that we can reach people and uh, communicate uh, information about our experience and background. And I personally enjoy the, the group that we're traveling with. It's been a great opportunity. 
Yeah, one of the things that, uh, because I have all these judges here, you don't get to see that it's, there's like a com camaraderie right. between all the people running in uh, different races. And even sometimes if you're running in the same race, it, it's so much more civil with judges than it is with politicians. It's not even funny. And I barely have to use a Q-tip ever with the judge. Politicians, boxes and boxes and boxes. Okay, I'm not going to ask what you <laughs> use the Q-tip for. <laughs> So, in, in any event, um, do you have a campaign website? I do. It is hennigan4judge.com, and the Hennigan is spelled, it's, I think it appears on the bottom of your screen, H-E-N-E-G-H-A-N, forjudge.com. It will be, and thanks for spelling it. I'll make sure I get it right. You bet. <laughs> and on the website, you'll be able to see more information about me, obviously, the endorsements that I mentioned earlier. Uh, my bar ratings um, from the various bar associations that have evaluated my uh, background and qualifications and candidacy and other information that you you would hope to see on a, a website including information about some of the work that I've done uh, with youth over the years a, a, that's a that's an important passion of mine um, and believe me it, that old adage it's better to give than receive is really true with the satisfaction that I have derived over the years uh, by working with youth in a variety of different contexts so that information is also on the website that's very nice, and as a matter of fact, yeah, you have a, a very impressive packet of credentials of the things that you have done as a human being, um, not to mention the lawyer stuff. Thank you, Avi. <laughs> thank you. And, and um, I also want to uh, thank your wife, who was a pleasure to work with, by the way. I will pass the thanks along. And um, anyway, I want to urge all of you to vote. Um, early voting is, you know, as you watch this, early voting will already have been underway. And um, Tuesday, March 15th, is Election Day. Uh, vote early, vote often, well, at least vote once. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pat Hennigan. And the ballot number. Oh, it, please. Ballot number is 221. And Avi, thank you for this forum. This is fabulous for all the candidates. It's my pleasure, and I'm glad to be able to uh, provide useful information to the voters of Cook County. Right. Thank you. Thank you.